Hey, what's going on guys? This is a quick review of the new GoTrax GXL electric scooter version 2 and a comparison to the original GoTrax GXL electric scooter. It's also referred to as a commuter scooter on the GoTrax site. The GXL stands for Glide or Glider XL. These two scooters at their core are the same with minor differences. They're the same in the height, weight, overall length, and size of the scooter, the rubber grip on the deck, wheel sizes, charger wattage, disc brake, and rotor on the back tire. They're both 36 volt, 250 watt front hub motors. They both run air-filled inflated tires. There are a few main differences between the original GXL scooter and the new version of the GXL scooter, the GXL version 2. The main difference is the rear brake. In the original version of the GXL scooter, there were two brakes. There was an electronic brake uh, with the hub motor, and there was a back rear brake foot pedal on the actual deck by the uh, rear fender and the rear wheel. The rear foot pedal would actuate the disc brake on the rear wheel. On the new version, they removed the electronic brake, added a handbrake that would actuate the rear disc brake on the back. The brake line also goes down into the deck, inside the actual deck, not below it. Through the deck up through the neck or the tiller of the scooter and onto the handlebars. I've not had any issues with this and I don't really foresee any. Because GoTrax removed the rear disc brake button towards the back of the fender on the new GXL, they were able to remold and reinforce the wheel cover or fender over the rear wheel. I personally liked the rear fender of the original GXL because it gave it a bit more flex when unfolding the scooter. However, the reinforced fender on the new GXL scooter is made solid and should be much less susceptible to braking on accident. On the GXL version 2, they did add a uh, safety bolt, safety locking bolt that you can put in and, and screw into there. They've, they've added a, a hole and a, a threaded end on either side of the uh, by the locking mechanism. So it does add a little bit of safety. So I mentioned this in my other video. The original GXL scooter, if you hold the power button when it's already on to turn it off, hold it for a few seconds, it'll turn off. If you hold the power button and go through the same motions where you're holding it, power it off and you don't see it's already off, within a couple seconds it will power right back on. So there's a little bit of a gap in configuration. Overall really very minor issue, nothing I'm worried about at all. The motor engages at about 1.2 miles per hour. It will not engage if you're not moving past 1.2 miles per hour, so a little bit of a safety feature. The electronic brake on the original GXL is pretty powerful, but I noticed it does not engage unless you've engaged the electronic motor. On the handbrake there is a little bit of some slack or take up at first, but then you quickly hit a point where the brake starts to engage and works properly and I've had no issues with the brake on the new GXL scooter. The nice thing about the foot pedal brake on the original scooter was that you could ride one-handed, say you're filming yourself riding a scooter, which is I don't suggest for anyone, but that's something I did happen to notice riding the new version of the GXL scooter compared to the old version of the GXL scooter. Folding latch is really top-notch. You can hear the click when you put it into place. Uh, you can feel it's not going anywhere. The original GoTrax GXL scooter runs right around $300. The new GXL uh, version 2 scooter runs a little higher with those upgrades. GoTrax offers four different versions of scooters, two of the GXL scooter. As you see, they step from one version to another. Both scooters have a 36 volt battery. They support up to 220 pound rider. Um, they both have 250 watt motors. They go between 9 and 12 miles distance, uh, roughly at least 15 miles per hour, if not more. 8.5 inch fill, air filled tires, uh, 31 pounds, probably less. Um, the deck and handlebars, 38 inches. Um, the new GXL scooter has the handbrake, like I mentioned, and the reinforced baseboard and fender. Uh, I didn't notice the baseboard. You can't see anything. They must have reinforced it inside. I'm not taking it apart to double check it. I contacted GoTrax recently to ask if the new GXL version had regenerative braking, and I was told that it does. However, other than the disc brake line going through the deck of the scooter, battery is stationed in the neck of the scooter. I cannot personally guarantee exactly how it is set up. 
they roughly go about the same speed depending on the, your weight, climate, the wind, the incline. On my original test, I was only going about 16. On this recent test, I got it going a little over 17 miles per hour according to the built-in LED screen. So the original I could get going 18, no problem. So they're pretty comparable in speed. They added a bell on the front brake handle of the new GXL scooters so you can signal oncoming pedestrians or just have fun. The idea of having the bell is similar to electric commuter scooters available by rental companies like Bird and Lime in cities like Indianapolis, San Francisco, Denver, and so on. The charging brick on both the new GXL scooter and the original are comparable. They have the same amperage, voltage, and connection size. The original GXL charging brick is a bit smaller. Regardless, both charging bricks will work on either scooter if you happen to have both versions of the scooter. The GXL and the GXL2 are both built really to last. They look nice, they ride really well. We've not had any issues riding the GXL or the GXL version 2 scooter. Really almost the same scooter as far as rideability and design even. Even compared to some of the higher end scooters like the Xiaomi, the rental scooters, the Birds, it's really a nice scooter. I think it holds right up with those more expensive scooters. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell for more notifications like this. Feel free to leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video, what you think of the scooter if you have one. Be safe, be kind, take care, I'll see you in the next video.